Wow, I have so much fluff on my microphone. I have no idea where that's all come from. Anyway, hey guys, how you doing? Uh, welcome to the new style of vlog. I am done. Well, no, I'm not completely done, but momentarily finished with the, the daily vlog style thing. I've been feeling kind of slightly unhappy with like my videos. I don't know why I've just had this kind of block. I think maybe it's the progression that they've had. I need to do something that's going to get the ball rolling a bit more, get people finding the channel a bit more. And then when I go out on the bus, check here if you've not heard, when I go out on the bus, it will be much more exciting daily type content and I'll rethink the whole kind of thing. However, I don't want to stop making videos. I love making videos for you guys, and there are people that do watch the vlogs. Thank you so much. But there are people that watch the daily vlogs, and I don't want to leave those guys without anything at all, because the whole reason I started the vlogs in the first place was to help you guys in some way. How do I put this? I guess to kind of share parts of my life that I do as a musician, and hopefully you guys then learn from that, whether you are a musician or a creator of some kind or an, an artist of some kind. I just love sharing stuff with you guys and you guys have been finding it useful. I'm carrying on but I'm just going to do more of um rein it in a little bit on topics. In fact, look at this. I've been, I've, I have my own little book, Made on the Road Social Media Ideas. If you're wondering what Made on the Road is, that's going to become clear very soon. It's related to the bus. I'm super excited about it. Wow, I actually can't believe the first video I'm making and the battery died. What was I saying? I have loads of video topics planned for you guys. Ready for new, new info for you to all to learn about. Every Tuesday, I think is the best day to currently do it. So every Tuesday, I'm gonna release this video. So that's the update on to today's topic. My top five vloggers on YouTube. I wanna share them with you. I wanna talk about why they're my favorite vloggers. And I felt like with this new series, series two of the vlogs and of YouTube videos, I thought it was best to go right back to the roots of why I started in the first place. Um, I really feel like it's changed my life, like watching YouTube videos and watching vloggers, as I'm sure it has for many of you guys that are watching this. It's changed my direction in life, it's changed my direction with the career, it's just, I've just found so many things where I'm like, this feels so right, and everything feels right this year. Um, I just need to keep, keep going at it, and keep making you guys content, and hopefully um, this channel can can build and grow. So my first vlogger that I'm gonna name is Peter McKinnon. What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. What I love about Peter McKinnon, I love his cinematic shots. And this is gonna be something that I talk about later on with another one of my favorite vloggers. But the cinematic stuff to me, I just, it looks incredible. And he does it so, so well. And his tutorials are amazing. It really hooked me. The way he gave the tutorials and then showed that in a vlog, I thought was just, just a really great way of doing vlogs and, and, and making useful videos for you guys to hook onto and tell your friends about. And hence his channel grew so, so, so quickly. And I put that down to the tutorials more than the vlogs, but the vlogs really helped because you got to know him at the same time. Vlogger number two. So yeah, this will be a comprehensive review of Qatar Airways business class experience. You're probably surprised that I haven't put this like as the first vlogger that I was gonna mention. And that's purely because although I started watching Casey Neistat like years ago, I don't know, Peter McKinnon has been like a, a bigger influence on me in terms of a hero of this year. Casey Neistat though, he started the vlogging thing for most people. He was probably the first big time famous vlogger. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. Um, but he's, he's the guy that really got vlogs popular and like well known. My favorite thing about Casey Neistat, I love how he, he just has this ability to tell stories through videos, like the way that he transitions through his day to create a 10 minute video. It makes you feel like you've not missed out on a single thing that he's been up to and that his day was only 10 minutes. He just tells stories in this incredible way and I, I just can't get enough of his personality. That's, that's why he is so big, right? He's addictively good. I mean, look at the way he just does this. It's like first person, you're fully hooked. You don't feel like you're missing out on a thing. The original reason he started the vlog was to, uh, it was kind of to talk about his new business, which was Beam at the time. He's now on to do amazing things um, off the back of that. So 
huge respect to Casey Neistat. But that's why he started his vlogs, like to promote his business, which is why I am gonna take the exact same thing and when I start the Made on the Road adventure in the bus, I'm gonna start doing the vlogs to help promote that. So um, I'm gonna take that bit of advice. By the way, all these vloggers that I'm sharing with you, there's something that I've taken from all of their videos and all their content that I'm, I'm seeing and I'm taking and doing my own kind of thing with them. So that's why these guys are really relevant and I've only chosen five. There are many more vloggers that I have watched in the past, um, but these guys are the ones that are influencing directly what I'm doing now. Okay, vlogger number three. Good morning! John Olsen. He's kind of the first vlogger that had another person filming his vlog. Again, I don't know if he is officially the first vlogger, but he, he was like the first vlogger that was like YouTube famous. Wow, the haze in the sky is making the sun like super orange. Anyway, John Olsen is the first kind of official famous guy that had somebody literally following around with a camera, filming him but not hiding who's behind the camera. Like, the, the various guys he said filming behind the camera, they, they talk, they get involved. They're, they're like a character in the vlogs as well. It's not just a cameraman. And I really like that. It, it freed John Olsen up to be able to talk um, and, and go throughout his day without feeling like he was truly holding the camera up and having to talk about it all the time, even though he does do that in some of his videos. It bridged the gap between like a vlog and like a TV documentary series kind of thing, because you see John Olsen walking around and, and you feel like he's being followed. It's like the old school MTV Cribs kind of thing. As I'm saying this, the vlog that I'm currently playing, he has no cameraman and he's filming himself, so this is a little bit of a bad example. But yeah, the way they document things and the way they capture things with all the cinematic B-roll things, which are the little interludes between people talking. I, I love that and you guys that have been watching the vlogs, you'll probably have noticed that I do like to, every now and then to do these little cin cinematic B-rolls and that all came from John Olsen, I love this guy. Okay, number four is somebody that I've quite recently gotten into. Um, a lot of you guys will know him, it's Pointless Vlogs. Good morning guys, good morning, how you doing? His name's Alfie Days. He's currently dating Zoella, who is also one of the biggest YouTube video geniuses out there. Yeah, I recently started watching Alfie's videos. Um, I can't remember how I got into them, but I got really hooked really quickly because he, he lets you into his life completely, films every single day. But they're really informal. He wouldn't call himself a true cameraman kind of filmer at all, I don't think. But it's really informal. But it's really informal, really simply done, and I think there's a lot to be said for that. So the first three guys that I've, I've mentioned really go in on their production values, on their videos. Alfie holds a camera up, films what he's got to say, and he gets like hundreds of thousands of views a day. Like, I think he has like half a million on average a day, which is insane. But I just love how simple and informal his vlogs are, and he has definitely affected um, how I've been filming more recently with my vlogs, because I've not been cutting out all of the talking to camera when I'm walking down the street. I've been leaving all that in because I've realised that's actually the personal stuff that people connect with a lot more than the cinematic stuff. Even though I love the cinematic stuff, the majority of people don't connect with that in the same way. They don't have an interest for that in the same way. And I think that perfectionist side in me has always been something that I've really wanted to like cut down a bit more and just, just be a bit more raw with what I put out. So Alfie, thank you so much for your inspiration with this kind of vlog. Okay, on to my fifth and final favourite vlog. <laughs> Okay, on to my fifth and final favourite vlog- <coughs> On to my fifth and final favourite vlogger, it's Fun For Louie. Good morning guys. People may say that him alongside Ben Brown are one of the original kind of vloggers that really got a name for themselves. I've not included Ben Brown in this list. He was very close to being him and Louis, but Louis just beat it because I have a love for travel. I really, really, really love traveling. And Louis has a couple of buses and he gave me the initial idea to go from like traveling around in a van which was my initial idea just like a small van just me keyboard to taking it up to a bus for you guys that haven't 
seen anything about the bus, I'm going to link a video again here. Definitely go and check it out. Um, it's called The Jazz Van. It has its own Instagram page, The Jazz Van. So go check it out and see. you'll be able to see exactly how big this thing is. But Louis is the sole inspiration behind getting the bus. So I had to include him in my top five vloggers. So yeah, those are my top five flavors. Favorite <laughs> vloggers, favorite vloggers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you have enjoyed it. Go and hit that like button. Comment below, just, just let me know what you're thinking about this new style of videos, or just comment and say hello if you're new to this vlog. It'd be great to meet you all. I will leave you to your day. I hope you're having a good one. And remember, never stop creating. See you next week. Bye.